we feel. Toil with hearts and hands and voices, we must prosper, sound a call, in which everyone rejoices. Oh, for each and each for all. You know, and to all our listeners, we wherever you remain we standing are, as we listen and to the welcome to the 2022 cultural gala program or what we could term heritage day 2022 after a few years of absence we are back we have heritage day and we're in the lovely and scenic community of trafalgar and i would like to welcome my co-host avena prince good afternoon everyone thank you for the welcome julian <laughs> it's a pleasure and um we just heard the national anthem on the arrival of the president his excellency the president Dr. Nicholas Liverpool, um, and the national anthem was sung by Chelsea Morancy, one of the youngsters from the Trafalgar area. And we now go over to the stage as Monsignor Eustace Thomas will be leading us in an opening prayer. Be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen almighty and eternal god you have brought us here this afternoon to celebrate heritage day look upon us your people gathered here as well as those watching through the various forms of social communications Bless this assembly, and as we reflect on our heritage, may we understand that it is not only a matter of entertainment, since celebration applies both to our cultural activities and our communal life of prayer. Holy Father, today, Mr. Henry George, who has served our nation and the church and this community with distinction, we will recognize as the cultural elder of this community. Stretch your hand over him. Bless protect and heal him and his family in mind and soul and body. We will also ask you to bless and anoint all of us and allow this gala to go on smoothly as we place all these activities into your hands and those of our blessed mother Mary, the mother of your son Jesus and our mother as well. Amen. O the eternal et tout puissant, ou mene nou esi a jodi pou celebre la jeune héritage, Je te zé ou assez nous toutes qui ont assemblé ici et assez tout le monde ou la terre qui a suivi la fonction de la sagoua, de la moyenne, de la communication sociale. Béni assemblé ça là et qu'on nous a réfléchi à ce héritage nous. Fait nous comprendre que ce n'est pas seulement on a fait si haut tout seul parce qu'il a appliqué l'activité culturelle à la vie de la prière. Call your community. Oh, Papa Bonzi, Jordi, and Mrs. Henry George, qui want to pay a new l'église service pour tant de comprendre. Vous souvrez l'honneur qu'on chef qui te veut, comme le tenu. Tant pis souple, béni, protégé, et jéri, et puis famille aussi, en âme, en corps et en esprit. Nous commandons aussi pour béni, fonction salasa, nous tout comme ça, comme ça nous marche bien, et puis galala. C'est pour que nous mettions toutes ces activités de salasa en la main avec la prière, la vieille maman, Jésus-Christ, la vieille Marie, garçon, et puis maman, nous aussi. Ainsi soit-elle. Thanks very much for asking me to share with you and do enjoy this gala. Father um, Nigel and I cannot stay because of another appointment. So do enjoy this celebration. God bless you. Okay, here we have it. You may um, be seated. Monsignor Eustace Thomas leading us in prayer. And if I had said earlier on that the president of the Commonwealth of Dominica, His Excellency Charles Angelo Savre. So um, we now go over to the chairperson of the Trafalgar Heritage Committee, Joanne Bellot, who will be given the welcome remarks. And following that, we will have remarks from the Honorable Ian Douglas, 
who will be Sir? representing Roslyn. Honorable Paul. Reginald Ostry, Senior Minister and Minister for Housing and Urban Development. Honorable Ian Douglas, Minister for Trade, Commerce, Entrepreneurship, Innovation, Business Development, and representat representative of the Honorable Minister of Sports, Culture, and Community Development. Honorable Irving McIntyre, Minister for Health, Wellness, and New, we New Health Investment and Parliamentary Representative of the Rose Valley Constituency. Other Honorable Members of Cabinet and Parliament, Your Worship Sandra Ermin Roy, Roy, Mayor of Rose. Ms. Karen Prevo, Acting Secretary to the Cabinet, Other Permanent Secretaries, Mr. Olson Matthew, Chief Cultural Officer Acting, and Chair of the Independence Committee. Mr. Glenroy Toussaint, Local Government Commissioner. Mr. Clifford Morancy, Chair of the Trafalgar Village Council and members of the Council. Mr. Henry George, Cultural Elder. Monsignor Eustace Thomas, Mrs. Melia Joseph Dennis, awardees, performers, members of the media, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. As chair of the Heritage Day Committee 2022, it is my privilege and great pleasure on behalf of the organizers and community to welcome you here today. We are delighted to have you with us to participate and share in this cultural event occasioned by the celebration of our beautiful island's 44th year of independence. To see so many of you have willingly traveled long distances to be here serves as a reminder to us all just how important it is to recognize our heritage and the commitment to keep culture alive. Thank you for coming. The Heritage Day Committee has been challenged four times to host this event today. I say thanks be to God. It has come to reality. We started in 2015 and got cut off by tropical storm Erica. 2017 cut off from Hurricane Maria. 2020 cut off from COVID-19. And we almost got cut off with weeks of rain. We traversed a long and difficult road to this day, but this did not deter our determination to push forward to host the event. The main components of this day have seen the leadership, enthusiasm, and the team to ensure all was in place to hold a successful and meaningful event. Our independence theme, One Dominica, One People, One Vision, is a simple quote, but stems to be very deep in meaning. As Dominicans, we are indeed blessed by the Almighty Father with so many riches that on many occasions, we do not appreciate and welcome. Our natural features have been tossed about and we have faced so many challenges over the years, but yet still we rise. What have we done as a people to live this country's heritage? Are we holding hands together to make our country better and to move forward with pride? Even on a community level, we have become self-centered. And I believe our attitudes need to change as a people for better growth and development. We need to stop the complaining and give thanks to God for everything he has done for us. As a people with vision, are we really seeing clearly? Or are we walking with our eyes closed? Let us always examine ourselves and work together in harmony and unity 
to bring a visibility to everything that we do. Today, prepare yourself to experience the heritage of Trafalgar, its culture, dance, and traditions. And I am certain that you will reach new heights of excitement as you look at the performances today. At our Mass this morning, our praises and thanks to God was tremendous and the singing exceptional. The preaching today reminds us of who we are as a people of God and how we should live our lives as godly people in community. We have all tasted the exquisite cuisine of our village has to offer, and I know you look forward to our cultural showcase. I want to say once more, on behalf of the Heritage Day Committee and all organizers, welcome, welcome, welcome. It is indeed wonderful to see so many of you here with us today. Enjoy the ambience and our culture. Thank you. It's Joanne Bellot um, from the... And right now... The chairperson of the Trafalgar Heritage Committee. And coming on, we have the Honorable Ian Douglas standing in place for the Honorable Rosalind Paul as he gives his remarks. Community development. Thank you very much, Madam Chairperson. Your Excellency Charles Savre, President of the Commonwealth of Dominica, and Mrs. Savre. Honorable Joseph Isaac, Speaker of the House, and Mrs. Isaac. Honorable Reginald Austri, Senior Minister and Minister of Housing and Urban Development. Honorable Dr. Irvin McIntyre, Minister of Health, Wellness, and New Health Investments, and Parliamentary Representative for the Roseau Valley constituency. My colleagues, members of cabinet and parliament, Karen Privo, secretary to the cabinet, other permanent secretaries, other specially invited guests, cultural elder, former minister of government, Mr. Henry George and Mrs. George, guests, well-wishers, Good afternoon. Welcome to National Heritage Day 2022, hosted in the community of Trafalgar. This independence season feels like a rebirth, as we are once again interacting in person after what we pray is a worst of the COVID-19 pandemic. Heritage Day in Trafalgar has been attempted on numerous occasions but various obstacles, such as natural disasters and the pandemic, rendered these efforts futile. But while we may focus on the negatives, these circumstances placed Trafalgar in a unique position of being afforded the most time to plan the National Heritage Day and, of course, the fruits of this and the results of today so far and of their persistence is very apparent and we want to Give them a round of applause for that. The tone and the proverbial bar was set for independent celebrations with the highly acclaimed opening ceremony. This was, allowed, this was followed by the national days of prayer and thanksgiving. History week under the theme Herbal Traditions featured the E. O. Libla lecture and the general public also contributed to the week of activities by displaying the extensive use of our traditional herbal remedies. National Emblems Week kicked off with a flag day, and this served as one of the greatest shows of patriotism to date, with schools, communities, and businesses showing full participation. Four district festivals were also staged, and the biggest takeaway from those events is the level of quality displayed by numerous school-based groups. I want to once again commend the school and community-based groups and say on the record that the future looks bright and is in good hands. This speaks to cultural balance, 
our youth are allowed to be expressive and creative while the seniors guide the process based on their experience. I would like to be one of the first to officially extend congratulations to the newly crowned Madam Wob Duet, Miss Anne-Marie Wallace of Portsmouth. Okay, 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 senior minister of Dela Wozin in Lago in the cottage constituency. <laughs> Still to come, we have T Village Creole, we have Juni Creole, we have the National um, Parade, we even have the Miss Wob Duet pageant on Wednesday, we have the National Youth Rally, the National Day of Observance Ceremony, the Cultural Gala, a National Day of Community Service, and the Miss OECS pageant. We look forward to your continued participation at all of the independence activities, just as you did last year in the virtual realm. Today, however, the focus is on Heritage Day. I would like to commend all of those involved. I am fully aware of the challenges that were mitigated by efforts of the Heritage Day Committee, other members of the community, the cultural division, and the Department of Local Government. Your hard work has not gone unnoticed. What you have managed to display today is nothing short of amazing. And I am sure that there are more surprises to come. I would also like to take this opportunity to congratulate the well-deserving cultural elder, Mr. Henry George. And, and seated by him is the, is the Chief Cultural Officer, Mr. Elson Matthew. Sir, I think so far you have done a great job, and we want to commend you and congratulate you so far. As we continue to make considerable strides in community and cultural development, I would like to remind everyone that the process is all-inclusive. It takes all of us. Let us focus on what we can do and not on what our neighbor is not doing. In no time, I guarantee you that we will be proudly basking in our own cultural advancement. May the Almighty Father continue to look divinely upon each and every one of you and upon our beloved country, Dominica. Happy independent celebrations to everyone. I thank you very much. Thank you, Honorable Ian Douglas. And I like that part in your speech. Honorable Rosalind Paul, Minister for Sports, Cultural and um, Community Development. Coming up next, we have remarks from the Honorable Dr. Irving McIntyre, the Minister for Health, Wellness and New Health Investment and the Parliamentary Representative for the Roseau Valley. Thank you very much, Ms. Bellot. Uh, okay, bon après-midi tout le monde. Good afternoon to everyone. Let me recognize Your Excellency Charles Savre, President of the Commonwealth of Dominica, and Mrs. Savre. Honorable Joseph Isaac, Speaker of the House of Assembly, and Mrs. Isaac. Honorable Reginald Austri, Senior Minister and Minister of Housing and Urban Development. Honorable Ian Douglas, representing Minister for Sports, Culture, and Community Development, other honorable members of Cabinet and Parliament, pleasant good afternoon to everyone gathered here this afternoon. My address today is in the capacity of the Parliamentary Representative for the Roseau Valley constituency, but since our Prime Minister had some other commitments, we will, I will have to cover both my role as parliamentary representative for the Rosa Valley and it, the address will also be on behalf of the Prime Minister as well. I extend a warm welcome to each of you to the scenic village of Kaiche. Thank you for accepting our invitation and celebrating with us for Heritage Day 2022. We are indeed honored to have you here with us today. It is indeed an exciting moment to be gathered together 
post the many restrictions of COVID-19 to celebrate the uniqueness and foundation of this community that is Trafalgar's heritage, inclusive of its cultural traditions, oral history, performances, rituals, skills and techniques, indigenous knowledge, approach to nature, society and community relations that are all essential sources of its identity and continuity. You are presently within the Rosa Valley constituency, a part of Dominica which boasts an abundance of natural resources that contributes significantly to the island's tourism products, food basket, and renewable energy efforts. These features include the fresh water and Burry Lakes and Tito Gorge at Luda, Wharton Waven Sulphur Springs and Therapeutic Spas, the agricultural fields of Mont Prosper, the Midland Falls at Cochrane, and the Trafalgar Falls within this community. Trafalgar as a main settlement close to the city of Roseau has historically served as a retreat from the city's hustle and bustle. Today, a visit to Trafalgar and the Trafalgar Falls is on every visitor's bucket list and a must-have field trip for every school, youth group, or community organization island-wide. The Trafalgar's diversity is among the greatest resources. Its human resource, production of agricultural produce, entrepreneurs, sports and entertainment are key aspects of the community's heritage and play a vital role in promoting cultural diversity, social cohesion, peace and economic development. As we celebrate our 44 years of independence under the theme One Dominica, One People, One Vision, I urge all residents to value the human treasures among us who possess a high degree of knowledge skills and history about the different aspects of our heritage. I hope that collectively we can restore and preserve the values of our heritage and use these opportunities to address the challenges faced by our community. The heritage of a people plays a significant role in collective actions that lead to pivotal steps in nation building. As a community, we can use the cultural heritage that connects our past with future generations to give us a better sense of our personal identity, to promote cooperation in our communities, and to build a stronger sense of awareness that propels support for national reconstruction and the transformation of the Roseau Valley. Our arts, cuisine, traditions, entertainment, and hospitality should seek to entice visitors and advance, and advance the nation's health and tourism product. I congratulate our cultural elder, Mr. Henry George, a gentleman I've known since childhood, woven into the fabric of Trafalgar's community life, a stalwart, a mover of everything community. Your commitment to the development of Trafalgar has shown others what it takes to get involved, to move forward, to work hard, and to take pride in building community. I am also happy that we can use this platform to recognize three exceptional individuals in the field of humanitarian service, community impact, and youth in music. Many other business owners, entrepreneurs, youth, and elders have contributed towards Trafalgar development and heritage. To all, I say a very heartfelt thank you. Your hard work and dedication towards community building over the years has made the village what it is today. As you experience the art, music, dance, and fashion at this event, I would also encourage those visiting from abroad to appreciate Dominica's amazing contribution to cultural preservation within the region. I urge you to use the opportunity, if you have not already done so, to embrace this community's natural beauty and extend that visit to our neighboring communities. I urge you, the people of the Rosa Valley constituency, especially those from Trafalgar, to cherish, protect, and preserve our culture. Get more involved, be aware, and learn all you can to be able to keep the culture alive. What we have is so unique and beautiful, and we should not trade it for anything else. I extend my gratitude to the Heritage Day 2022 committee the church committee, exhibitors, the performers, the decorators, the division of culture, 
local government and other government entities, the police, residents, and those from other hamlets of the Rosa Valley constituency. Your dedication to task and working together ensures that all here today, those participating virtually, can enjoy the cultural heritage of Trafalgar. In closing, on behalf of the Honorable Prime Minister and other cabinet colleagues and organizers, thank you once again for honoring our invitation to be the host for Heritage Day 2022. Let us all continue to work together as one Dominica, one people, one vision. I thank you. And of course, that was the Honorable Dr. Irvin McIntyre, Minister of Health, Wellness and New Health Investment and also the Parliamentary Representative for the Rosa Valley constituency. In, and now we get ready for the presentation and the honoring of our cultural elder for 2022. And this will be done by the Senior Minister, um, Honorable Reginald Austry, who will be standing in for the Honorable Prime Minister, Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt, who, is, who had to unfortunately leave for a moment. So we see that um, um, Dr. Mr. Austry is making his way to the stage. And also he will be assisted by the Madame Wabduyet 2022. And uh, he... Mr. Austri is also being accompanied to the stage by Minister Ian Douglas and Irvin McIntyre. So we're getting ready and the citation for the cultural elder will be read by the Chief Cultural Officer acting, Mr. Elson Matthew. And we know that um, the cultural elder was also a minister for at least 10 years and going and more in the Eugenia Charles administration where he was part of the Minister of Culture and Community Development at some point. So we go across the stage now as we hear listen for the citation for the cultural elder for 20 22 and he's been seated on stage and we have also the president of the commonwealth of dominica being escorted to the stage as he will be the one doing the session we are told that the the president will be sashing the cultural elder the presentation of the awards will be done by senior minister austri but the session of the elder will be done by His Excellency Charles A. Savre, President of the Commonwealth of Dominica. So in a few moments, we are with the arrival on stage of His Excellency. He's making his way Henry to the George stage. Henry George was born on the 22nd of June, We go across to the June, stage now for the citation of the and Garfield George. cultural elder. He married his soulmate, Bernice Joseph George, on the 28th of December, 2002. He has five sons and fostered a total of seven daughters over the years. From the tender age of 14, he got involved in many community organizations and projects in Trafalgar. He attended the Trafalgar Primary School and then entered the St. Mary's Academy. After his tenure at the SMA, he entered the teacher's college. Due to lack of funds and limited opportunities to further his studies overseas, he remained as a teacher, I'm um, sorry, he remained at the teacher's college and earned a certificate from a program offered by the University of the West Indies. He was first employed as a primary school teacher, earning $46 monthly and taught for 17 years. His love for community grew, and he organized cricket and domino matches and kept the village lively. Through these games and the involvement with other villages, the community became a united force. Upon identifying the lack of cultural activity in the community, Mr. George devoted his life to community development. There was a small cultural group, and although he was not a full-time member, he participated when possible. 
He would ensure that trees were planted, drains cleaned, and roads rehabilitated, rehabilitated throughout the community. National Day of Community Service was an exciting time for him when he would mobilize persons to come out in large numbers to assist in whatever project was being undertaken. His participation in community projects contributed towards the development of Trafalgar and positively impacted significant changes. As a teacher, he encouraged the youth to be more community-oriented. He was able to initiate different houses for the school and name them after persons in the community, namely John Baptist House after Cuthbert John Baptist, Gabriel House after Louis Gabriel, and George's House after himself. Mr. George's involvement in youth groups did not only materialize in Trafalgar. He assisted in the neighboring communities in forming their own groups as well. One of his passions was the creation of plays which impacted greatly on many individuals, his favorite being Greedy Boy. Viewing this play cost only 50 cents. However, persons who thoroughly enjoyed the show gave an extra dollar. Whilst in the teaching service, Mr. George was involved in business and had a grocery shop and a bakery. He serviced the community for many years until both businesses were destroyed by Hurricane David in 1979. He rebuilt the grocery shop but never went back into the baking business. His small grocery shop serves the community to this day. In 1980, Mr. George got involved in politics and was part of the Dame Mary Eugenia Charles administration. He served as junior minister in health and education together with Charles Maynard. He moved to a full minister for education and sports in 1990 and later was the minister for community development. During his time in community development, he promptly organized the village council. He also succeeded in having the Trafalgar Primary School and Health Center built and secured an area for the playing field where we are assembled today. He received the Meritorious Service Award in 2005, as well as an award from the Ministry of Social Affairs Welfare Division for serving as a foster parent for over 25 years. His involvement in church was exemplary, and at one time he was a choir master, and sometimes he would conduct the service along with Mr. Edward Elwin. After the devastation of Hurricane David, he assisted the Salvation Army of Barbados to construct a huge wooden building in Trafalgar, which was later used as the school and community center. This building was destroyed in 2017 by Hurricane Maria. The Cultural Division and Independence Committee join with the Heritage Day Committee of Trafalgar in congratulating Mr. Henry George today, October 23, 2022, on being awarded the distinguished title of Cultural Elder 2022. Best wishes to you, Mr. George, and may God continue to richly bless you. And we just had the citation for the Cultural Elder 2022, that is Mr. George, and that was read by this Chief Cultural Officer acting, Elson Matthew. And Ladies right and now he has been sashed by the Mr. President George. of the Commonwealth of Dominica. And one of the things that, that is capturing of the moment is that he is being flanked by two present ministers as a former minister himself. So Henry George, Cultural Elder 2022. And then we'll be moving smoothly into the program. For today, we will be having um, some presentations. We're first going to have, we're going to see some presentations from the Trafalgar Primary School, the Youth yeah, on Mission Dance Group, among others. So we, 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 are, we have a packed cultural program. So we have come to the end of the formal session of the so program and we're going into the cultural segment of the program and as we come to this segment it is my pleasure to remind you that our broadcast today is being brought live to you for the kind compliments of national pest and to my control elvis welding services limited do it center garway enterprises 
and Belfast Estate Distributors of Kubole Beer. So we do thank you for this. Avec Avena, si on boba il a nous a parlé créole aussi, a nous a dit c'est mon assa qui a pour place. Et si a Kaiche, comment y a quoi dire créole? Nous a dit Trafalgar anglais, mais Kaiche, c'est comment y a dit avec nous Tony Henry George, co chef, co cultural elder pour 2022. Comme ça, il était un plaisir pour nous, on, on monte, qui était un ministère, un gouvernement, qui était fait au tapu pour tuer Kulte à Dominique, comme ministère. Et avec actuellement, nous avons honoré comme cultural elder pour 2022. Ça, c'est un bon bagage, parce que les gens qui font bon, ou si posé 10 personnes, ils font bon. Ça, so, c'est un bon bagage qui fait aujourd'hui. Et puis, si ou si ou juste commencé à écouter nous à à Trafalgar maintenant et puis ça qu'a fait c'est Heritage de Dominique um, l'année 2000 2022 so and so we have our master of ceremony for today for the cultural segment we have Melia Joseph Dennis and we also have Chris John Jules uh, uh, been assisting her. So we go over to stage to get some of the citation being read at this moment. Sandra Elminroy, Mayor of Roseau, Honorable Alex Boyd Knight, Speaker Emerita, Miss Karen Prevo, Acting Secretary to the Cabinet, other permanent secretaries, Mr. Erlson Matthew, Acting Chief Cultural Officer and Chair of the Independence Committee, Mr. Glenroy Toussaint, Local Government Commissioner, Ms. Joanne Bellot, Chair of the Heritage Committee and members, Mr. Henry George, Cultural Elder, Monsignor Eustace Thomas, awardees, performers, members of the media, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Bevini, welcome to the 2022 Heritage Day. Yes, welcome. We are ready for the cultural presentation. Bienvenue, messieurs, mesdames, Kaiche. Yes, that's the Creole name for the beautiful community of Trafalgar, home to the premier site of the Trafalgar Falls. We welcome you, those of you who are visiting. We are here to present everything cultural for you. It is indeed a heritage day, and our heritage it will be on display here as well. So welcome. As we go into our cultural presentation, we will have a choral speech from the Trafalgar Primary School. So, Messieurs, Mesdames, ladies and gentlemen, give them a cultural chair, the primary school out of Trafalgar. So, as we start our cultural segment, we have the Trafalgar Primary School coming for a uh, choral speech. Uh, and it is good when you have young persons who can take part or taking part in our cultural celebrations. So, coming up, Coming up, <laughs> 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 So it's a good time to remind you and to thank our kind sponsors for this event, which has been brought live to you from the National Pest and Termite Control, Elvis Welding Services, Do It Center, Garway Enterprises, and the Belfast Estate Distributor of Kubali Beer. Yes. So we are at the scenic and lovely. Right. Pli belle pass 
hein? Oui. So, c'est pour dire, il est, il est au top place qui est belle. Il est au top place qui est belle. Et puis, ici, c'est votre place qui est belle à Dominique. Il est plus belle là. Comme ça, nous avons préparé pour ce Timaï Maïla, l'école première Trafolga, qui a fait une présentation chorale. Il y a qui est avec nous qui espérer que ça nous amène à nous, ça nous amène à nous. Donc, nous avons fait un postage là, avec nous avons fait un micro pour nous, nous avons fait un stage là pour nous. Comme ça, nous avons fait une chance pour nous commencer à nous cultural presentation là. Comme ça, avec nous, nous avons un programme qui est bien. On est au Tandai. Oui. On est danse créative. On est Hilan Tour. On est uh, Mazou Belle. Tout ça. Avec, nous avons fini aussi avec des de, de gros bands. Nous avons Midnight Groovers. Nous avons Signal. Nous avons Triple K. Pas même des. Trois. Trois gros bands. Triple K. Avec aussi. Nous avons Michael Henderson. Comme ça, si vous pas ici, ou ça vient ici, si vous pas ne pouvez pas payer rien pour ici, mm-hmm. avec vous avez tapé un spectacle qui est bien formidable, un spectacle qui est bien grand. Un progr- programme qui est bien pack. Hmm? Oui. Et puis tout le qui est à Dominique. As we. As we await um, the choral speech, I just want to give a brief review of Trafalgar, and this is from the doc- this is from Dr. Lennox Honeychurch, and um, it says Trafalgar is a village in the Roseau Valley that takes its name from an estate in the area that was named after the Battle of Trafalgar. I will continue later. Yes, my God, and be 
Give it up one more time for the truffle girl. I was wondering who were you leaving all you caught last year for you know. Yes. Let me just introduce myself. I am Billy Joseph Dennis, your MC. Alongside me, my co-host for this afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Chris the Trafalgar Primary School doing sure for us a choral speech, the, there, the Banana the Man. Speech. I remember when I was younger, <laughs> that's a poem that I was all... To learn in school. Ah, <laughs> and we see our master of ceremony, right, so Milia Joseph, and myself were both intrigued by that um, by that poem. Presentation of a token to His Excellency the President Charles Savoy. and the Honorable Dr. Irvin McIntyre, the parliamentary representative for the Trafalgar constituency. All right, so we're going on, we're moving on nicely into action. Okay, so we just had a little bit of choral speech. We will now have flutes by Mr. Fer, Mr. Christopher Rowe. Let's make him feel welcome. He's already on stage. Christopher Rowe doing flutes. something that I really like about our our independence and our, just the Creole season in Dominica. It's a time when you get to see a lot of the creativity of the people on the island. And just looking at this man play and just hearing the musical notes coming from this bamboo flute, it is just something else. So thank you. That is Mr. Christopher Rowe. Awesome rendition there from Mr. Rowe. Trafalgar, Lily Valley, in fact, he's just a stone throw from here. Yes, thank you so much, Lily. We know him as Lily. Give it up one more time for Lily. Thank you. Yes, I. And thank he you. makes his own bamboo flutes. Um, I've known Lily for many, many, many years, making his bamboo flutes and selling to the tourists when they would come up to the Trafalgar Falls. As a matter of fact, these flutes are on sale right here $20. from him. Only $20, so support local, support heritage, support tradition. All right, so please support the man, Christopher Rowe. Thank you so much, Lily. Thank you. Right. 
All right, so we're moving on, ladies and gentlemen. We follow a program here this afternoon. We are moving into. What a big like a clap, No, no, you can clap, man. Let me say. You can show fair. And that's what they need to show fair because when you see the whiz live, you start to hit them. You'll find out if they don't clap just now. You want to show fair? Yes, you can show fair. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for some creative presentation in the creative dance. We'll have a creative dance now by Youth One Mission Dance Group, the junior. Youth One Mission Dance Group, they are going to give us a creative dance. Let's put our hands together for them. Yes, man. Give them a cultural chair. The Youth One Mission Dance Group. So earlier on, I started reading for you a brief overview of the culture of the village of Trafalgar. And as um, we get ready for the Youth on Mission dance group and their rendition, I will just... Okay, <laughs> there we go. They're already starting. And starting with a song that so many of us are so familiar with. I remember hearing that song very often growing up. And it's one of the songs that made you so proud to be a Dominican. So the dancers are walking around the stage holding the flag of Dominica. Each one has a small flag and they are dressed in black with um, madras squares around their waist. And every dancer has a, a straw basket. Oh, 
Yes, give it up one more time for the youth Fat Mission Dance Group with Juniors. Yes, Bad Brav for me say. Leutan ko Dominic, on kadi tell my show. So that was a rendition of Youth on a Mission Dance Group doing a creative dance. Okay, for those of you who would not understand what I just asked Chris, I asked Chris what does he love the most about Dom? He's beautiful island. Dom. You are Dominican, right? Yeah, yes. Okay. Who pay more? Yes, man. Are you a Dominican? No, I want to know. Are you a Dominican? Okay. So here's the question again. What do you love most about Dominica? Kiss how we please go Dominic. What? I want to buy it. I Act. Me, ubadi mo sa women, please call Dominic. Some women, please call Dominic. Mm -hmm. Langla mo kapali ya. Langla. Yes. Okay. You see so that language? Yana. You see that language I'm speaking there right now? Not that one, but the other one. <laughs> Patwa. Yes. So Jordi, look at this way. The Creole. Look at this way, Patwa Jordi. When I speak Creole, I'm in my element. I'm in a different dimension, a different zone, a different universe. Everything is different when I speak Creole. Eve, but madi usa le mo pali Creole like ikaba mo e kumo de kedi sa ako. Mon yopil chans, mon sap, mon sap, mon lib. Oui. Mon lib. Le mou ka pale wè kouyol, mon lib. Eh ben, mon sa fè yon pil baga yon kouyol. Eh ben, sa yi ba yon la kot, kot la gash sa yon, ou lib. There is something about, there is something about kouyol that you just care do in English, you know. Yes. So I'm getting away with plenty things when I speak kouyol. Yes. That's what I love about, I love that about it too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're just moving on with our program here tonight. You see, the breeze blowing, I told all you to get warm up, you know, start to clap. Start to clap and warm yourselves up because the river breeze is starting to blow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's make them feel welcome on stage doing Jinping, the Mon Prosper Jinping Pan. Warm up, ladies and gentlemen.
And right now we have on stage the Mon Prosper Jinking Band. The proceedings or everything that's happening is under the theme One Dominica, One People, One Vision. This afternoon's broadcast is sponsored by National Pest and Tomate Control, Elvis Welding Services Limited, Do It Center, Garraway Enterprises, and the Belfast Estate Distributor of Kubu Libya. Right, give it up for the Mon Prosper Jinping Band. Come on, give them a cultural chair, please. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to announce the departure of His Excellency, the President Charles Savoy and Mrs. Savoy. Right now, everyone is standing as the president and his wife make, as the president and his wife depart from the event. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is Heritage Day in Trafalgar 2022. And let me tell you a little bit of something here. We just heard from the Mon Prosper Jinping Band. Doing a little something of groovers. And speaking of groovers, they'll be here tonight. Uh huh. In case you did not know, now you know. Mikkel, I saw Mikkel Henderson doing a little something at the back a while ago. Mikkel, we have a little practicing to do. Because you made me jealous, but it's okay. It's okay. It's all part of the heritage that we're trying so much, ladies and gentlemen, to keep alive. And we, we just saw, you know, a group of youngsters from Mon Prosper. Give it up again for the Mon Prosper, a Jinping band. We want to, of course, commend the young men yeah, man. and the young women for taking part in this cultural it's activity. Of a surprise. Mokadiu, Mokadiu. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're moving on nicely for a program here tonight. 
No, I'm not dancing. Do not ask me to dance tonight. Moka vet is Okay. All right, so we're moving on, ladies and gentlemen, with the heel and toe. Let's welcome on stage the Trafalgar Cultural Group. So the Trafalgar Cultural Group is making their way on stage to dance for us this afternoon, the heel and the toe. And they are so beautifully dressed. We have an assortment of madras with the ladies in their dresses and the men are what well, the ladies in their skirts and blouses and the men in their traditional creole attire. are wearing this afternoon an assortment of various jeep styles. not familiar with the heel and toe it's a uh, it, it's a dance that was introduced by the Europeans and there are various variations of that dance but one of them that and the one that's being danced right now involves the leg being extended on the heel and being br brought back down backward on the toes hence the name the heel and toe and it's one of the, the Square dances we have in Dominica. Um, we have the hill and toe, the flotation, the mazo. All these are part of. Dominica, and they are made up mainly of four musicians. There's the guash, which is that. Um, the, the greater, greater light yes. um, instruments with some most times it has these little seeds in it which you shake and they scratch with with um, some metal object then they have the tabu which which is which gives it that bass then you have also the um the boom boom which is that long bamboo like um instrument and of course the and all these three that i just mentioned they are made right here in dominica the only exception to that is the accordion which is a potted instrument where
Ah, they are tapping their legs. They're they tapping their feet. So, yes. so that helps them to keep timing. So they ah. normally it is it is counted as one of the instruments. Yes. Yeah, normally it is, so most of the dances are played to two by four music or four by four music. So and they're normally tapping their legs in the rhythm that is going. So if you look at mm, all yes, the musicians, yes, yes, they're tapping true. their legs. <laughs> yeah. So we just saw a presentation from the Trafalgar. Cultural, cultural group, group the heel and two. as they did heel and two for us and then following them we will have the pan in harmony which will be giving us some pan music and um when then we'll go into the point michelle cultural group which will do some flirtation for us they were scheduled to do mazook but they are doing flirtation for us all right so and and i mean the smiles the lovely smiles and these are fairly young people yes. doing the dances so we must say that culture is still alive mm -hmm. avec il vivant toujours il pas comme actuellement parce que toutes ces jeunes là toutes ces jeunes bouc là yo adan yi jeune bouc jeune femme avec kaïtien ni culte tout tout partout les ni ba yo ça comme ça il y a un groupe nous que wè nané qui va venir pour compétition là nous vivre à compétition nané qui va venir Avec Jik Milia qui a dansé Hilanto. Oui, et puis il a fait ça bien. Milia avec Chris Kaoul et Hilanto. Il a fait ça comme un qui pratique ça longtemps. Il a fait ça comme un qui a fait ça. Mais Milia a sorti de Gwambé. Ah, et puis on a fait ça. Gwambé, c'est place culturelle de Dominique. Oui, c'est vrai. Au pas ça, pas de. Ou pas ou pas ça sorti dans. grand B et puis pas connaître comment pour faire ces bagages d'ailleurs hein Hilan to anti mazo anti quadri anti belle ou ni pour connaître ces bagages ça là on sorti grand B ça coûte tout elle Dominique comme ça nous on est pour Hélie grand B avec tout le monde qui va écouter nous c'est un plaisir avec moi le dit tant c'est bien ba nous ici à nous les belles petit soleil ici à Magwe sole ya para fante isi ya nou nou ni otan fwe shi ya. Ou konet sole ya la ka desan paske mwen mwen kom si di mwen ka jik santi yon ti zin fwe de jan. Wwe, fwe di ya ke sorti ya paske nou a trafo ga nou a kai che. Live ya pwe nou. Live ya pwe nou se waterfalls la yo pwe nou. Me panin hamoni koumase yo a no se yo efek a nou ale o ti panin hamoni poutan Tibwe music still pan Dominic.
So ladies and gentlemen, in case you are just joining us, we are at Trafalgar, the Heritage Day event, under the theme One Dominica, One People, One Vision, and performing for us right now, we have the... Coming for us right now, we have some rendition on the steel pan. And right after, we will have the Point Michel Cultural Group performing the flotation dance. an excellent rendition from the Pan in Harmony Steel Pan Group and they are preparing to play for us another number and again another favorite from, from them another favorite of the Dominican public I hope you enjoy this one
Okay, and that's Pan in Harmony, and they are saying that they have one more rendition. in harmony doing one more rendition for us at the heritage heritage day celebrations in trafalgar dominica under the theme one dominica one people one vision Okay, that was the final rendition from Pan in Harmony. This afternoon's broadcast is sponsored by National Pest and Termite Control, Elvis Welding Services Limited, Do It Center, Garraway Enterprises, and the Belfast Estate Distributor of Kubuli Beer. Coming on now, we have the Point Michel Cultural Group, who's going to dance for us a flirtation. Thank you. 
Okay, so we have the Point Michelle Cultural Group doing for us the flotation dance. And this, of course, is the wrong flotation that they're going to be doing. Because we have different types of flotation. We have the wrong flotation, the right wrong flotation, uh, flotation oba. And there, the Permission Cultural Group is being accompanied by Hans and Company from Pilit Saban. Now, just some background on the flotation dance. And if you're not aware, this is a dance that... It is so named because it's all about flirting. So you would have, um, well, just a little, um, <laughs> let me just clarify. Right now, um, while we still do the dances, it's not all about what they, they meant back in the, in the day. So right now, it's really just a matter of doing it out of tradition so people know where it is we came from. But the dance had a lot of flirting qualities. So you'd have the dancers actually looking at each other, looking at each other in a flirtatious manner as they moved around doing their doing their pieces. Hence the name flirtation dance. It's a type of square dance that originated from the French culture. And Dominica, as we know, was handed or you know various had various battles between the French and the English before we finally remained an English territory and the flotation dance has its roots in the French culture. And just to tell you that um, we, we can see the, the grace and the, the poise of this group as they move in with each other. So let's go on stage, Avena, and take in a piece of the flotation music and then we'll come back to okay. give us some more information. Thank you. 
And of course, that was the Point Michel Cultural Group as they gave us with the right wrong flotation. So as they make their way off stage, I'm going to prepare for another flotation because coming up next will be the Trafalgar Cultural Group, which will do some flotation for us. And following that, we'll have the, present, the presentation of the 2022 Miss Wapduet contestants and the newly crowned Madame Wapduet will be making an appearance. And following that, we have a few awards that will be given out to deserving persons from the community. Every joke I saw, even belty gum, belty steel. Garçon, <laughs> Cultural Point Michel qui a présenté une nouvelle avec Flotation. Avec ça qui a venu, c'est le groupe culturel Trafalgar. Tout le monde n'est pas eu à ça. Comme ça, Trafalgar fait groupe li avec les Pawe. Il a fait un signe qui est Pawe pour Nania qui a venu pour compétition, pour ne pas à ça. Pour montrer que tout le monde, tout le village ni pas yo yo même. Presenting some that word is a so very they are just going to um, shift a little bit to the program. They will be now doing the awards and stuff. Bring it later. They're going to be doing some awards, some presentation of awards. So they um, we are calling the chief cultural. Is that that person now that you say? This is called Martin May. I okay. swear you were my Google Translator, so you know. Martin, Martin, Let's do so it again. we have the ministers, mm. they are making their exit from the proceedings. But we have the, the persons from the community being ordered. Of the so the chairman of the yeah. village council will be <laughs> doing the presentation <laughs> of awards. All right, Mr. Clifford Morancy will join us on stage. As we have a few... Again, that big word, community awards to be presented. Yes, it is Heritage Day. Those of you again tuning in via the, ver the various media platform. Good evening to you. I know some people, let me tell you something. You see that independence time there? And some people could not get flights. That's why AP Moon Gopel is a very small word. You say Naji. You say Naji. Naji Vini. You get crazy, did it? <laughs> yes. Okay. So the chairman of the village council, I'm going to give him my microphone and he'll take it from there. Good evening to you. Good evening to you as well. Um, hello, everyone. Um, at this moment, like they mentioned, we are going to give out community awards. Um, this award specifically was highlighted to individuals in the community who has impacted the community one way or the other, whether past, present, and even beyond now. No problem. So no problem. Um, right now, we would, the first award would be to Nurse Clarice Morancy. It's a humanitarian award in recognition for her exemplary service rendered to this community over the past 40 years. Um, Nurse Clarice is not here with us at the moment um, because of health issues, but she will be given this award and I would accept it on her behalf. This next award is a youth award. Um, this specifically highlights Mr. Marvin Hector, better known as DJ Fire. Hmm? 
This final award is for Mr. John Joseph. It's called our Community Impact Award in recognition for his exemplary service rendered to this community over the fa past 20 years in the field of sports. Uh, he is not with us this evening, but as a product of the Trafalgar Football Academy, I will accept it on his behalf. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. One thing you make history, as if it's first time I see a speaker accept awards on behalf of somebody else. Yes. But of course, let me just congratulate, congratulate all the awardees. I remember Nurse Clarice. Let me tell you a little secret there real quick. There was this one time I was playing farm and I was trying to comb my hair and then there was a mirror. You know, like people, in old time days, you like to put mirror to stand up behind something. Mm, oui. So I put a mirror so and I'm combing my hair and a buizva just passed. It <laughs> fell on my lap, broke, and a piece of glass went into my knee. Introducing Do It Center Delivery Monday to Friday With a minimum spend of $50 We do small deliveries From Jimmit to Point Michel And up to Louisville Large deliveries are island-wide Scheduled deliveries are free With a minimum spend of $200 For more info on scheduled and unscheduled deliveries Contact Do It Center on Introducing Do It Center Delivery Monday to Friday With a So we are calling on another group to do some more flirtation for us here as the ban resets, regroup. So, Google. Are you say you on? You on Google? We oui, parlez, maman. Okay. I remember asking somebody to translate something for me not too long ago. Of course, see, man. It was you? <laughs> we, we will not go there. Power swear. We will not go there. But please tell the world for me, Google, that Dominica is the most beautiful country in the entire world. Please translate in our native language. Dominica, pli bel pays. Un latte. Un latte. I suspect I have to. I'm rebooting my computer. No, we got dernier fois. Moi di latte, you di moi latte. Il parle latte only pour ces people world. So on va pas y moi aller stage là, ok? Latte, latte. Latte, yeah. that I know. Yes, latte. yes. Abwe oh. bode say latte. Oui, mais ça moi ça. That's right, you're correct. You didn't want latte, say te. Say you didn't try it, moi. Te say earth. Earth. <laughs> For you. It's troublesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome on stage. Doing flirtation, the Trafalgar Cultural Group. Let's make them feel welcome. So we have a second flirtation dance coming on being done for us by the Trafalgar Flotation Group. And I said it earlier on that the flotation dance really has its origin in the French culture. Just in case you are now joining us and you're hearing this for the first time and it is so called because the entire dance is centered around the courtship so the expressions on the faces of the dancers all of that was intended so that one of them would one day find a wife or a husband in the midst but remember again that's not the reason behind the dances these days we're doing it solely because it's a part of our Dominican heritage and uh, to remind us of what once was. is danced by four pairs of dancers who commence the dance by moving forward. 
they do what we call avancing.
to the Trafalgar Cultural Group, dancing for us the flotation, has now completed their rendition and they are making their way off the stage. Give it up for them one more time, the Trafalgar Cultural Group. What's that, Lisa? What's that? What's that? What's that? Flotation, no? Si Musa dance a flotation. Once you are a flutter, you don't need to dance. What's that, Lisa? Once you are a flutter, you don't need to dance. No, I'm leaving it for them to learn how to flutter. Okay, okay. Yes, that's what it is. But I'm also, I'm okay. I think that's my favorite dance now. It's your favorite dance, why? No, I find it. Because they're floating a lot on stage, don't you? Yes. I've been to the hill and toe, I did easy, man. They can't take a look at the hill. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are moving on with our next presentation here. Let's welcome on stage the White Sea Kumuli Dance Theatre Company in Creative Dance. Monsieur, mesdames, <laughs> bad bravo, monsieur. 
Kapu, White Sea, Kumuli Dance Theatre Company. And of course, that was the White Kumuli yes, Dance Theatre Company. Dance. Group Nairi. doing some creative dance for me. Olivier Nairi. And um, one of the things that, that Nairi, I appreciate, they, they used um, the song by Maxine Allen. Okay. Do do well, well, well. <laughs> well, one of well, right. one of the songs that have, that have really hit since it came out. Okay. So we yeah, have at the as you just know, saw the Wajikuli Dance Theatre Company, and coming up next, place. we are going to have the presentation the of, the of the Madam for 2022 contestants. So, so the Miss Wap Duet, so concerning the Kali Prince and say Quantista for Demil Vendé. Mais avant de venir, il y a eu le président de Madame Lang, la femme la qui gagne, Anne-Marie Wallace, qui représente un grand temps, mais il y a eu de l'eau d'après. La salle, elle a venu nous montrer nous, ça y fait. J'ai dit pour gagner. Quand ça y a ce stage avec ou ça ou est gam là c'est un madame qui n'y gam avec quelque chose oui ça y n'y a sur les jailles ah 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 avec la fini ok mais non ah mon la qui qui ou était avec tout la plus long et mis ou abdu à 2000 19 pour Jodia, pour Simon Saïk et Batitli, pour 7 femmes qui ont monté pour la compétition. Pour ça, Madame Wallis a sous stage avec des gars servis de Dweet Like, pour que nous soyons fait comme moi, et porté Dweet Like, j'ai dit, pour faire gagner titre là comme Madame Wap Dweet 2020. Maman Made, Julien, où est-ce que vous avez fait un peu de He's sorting hot loader, baby. He's sorting hot loader. He's sorting hot loader. Uh huh. Make our way to Guantas. Ah, that's good. Because I'm going to connect, Madam Sa. And then I'm going to connect the hot loader. So let's do Guantas. Wait, wait. And then let me tell you where you um. Matter where to bag. I'm going to tell you where you're using cement passe. And then let me tell you the. Let me tell you the Guantas. Matter connect so you take a deal. Because I'm going to connect a moon. He's sorting hot loader. Avec actuellement nous ni Mayra John Baptiste avec Mayra qui c'est mon là qui wait avec titre la plus long tu en as né comme Miss Wap Duet avec on ça nous présenter ces mon là avec sec difit et que que aller qu'a gommé pour titre là Mek Pedi avec nous ni pour 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 ça c'est Mek Pedi 26 octobre avec ces sept femmes là, ils ont venu pour y aller à ce stage là. Avec premier qui a monté chez Shakira Bamboo, Hot Guabe. Avec Yoa dans un petit jeep. Rouge avec. Rouge avec vert. Mais plus rouge passe. C'est ma dress, mais plus rouge passe à rien. Avec Yo Ti. Ah. Il y a un petit jupon jaune avec Sayonia Leo, c'est un petit bail jaune. Avec Yoni Otanko, ça c'est long, hein? Oui. C'est où voir que Yoni Otan l'argent là? Comme ça, nous, les premiers contestants, on a un B, Shakira Bambo. Avec Kesu Shakira, nous, qui est allé du blanc. Nikes Moransi Kavini, actuellement, hot du blanc. Avec après Nikes. Et puis, vous avez tout qu'à porter la même sorte de robe là, hein? Oui. Vous avez tout mis en jupe jaune. Et puis, à l'essai, vous avez mis en jupe jaune. Et puis, la chemise là, jaune aussi. Or jeep, um, or jeep madras, and then, um, chemise la jaune. Um, we are, we are the money I owe. My way to tell you, I did from a fashion service. Même toi là, mais I did from a fashion. Yo, yo, my way to tell you. Cause I know where Nikes, I told Manu Kale where hard massac. Alina Bernard. Alina Bernard.
so, so nous venons trois à, à la stage là maintenant et puis ça l'est l'autre là qui est venu avec l'autre là qui est venu c'est Hot Jirodel Shona Sons Shira Sons Shira Sons Shira Sons Contestant is out of Peter Supreme and Miss Shana Luke, who is not present here with avec us tonight. Second, who is here for the competition is not here. So, this is Alana Luke, who is here for the competition. A sat cultural old mill. So it's it's a, a pleasure. Now the ladies are all on stage along with the madam and the miss, just moving around gracefully, showing their their potentials. You know, showing what they are going to offer when they come to that moment on stage, showing that they are they are not afraid at all of stage and they are not afraid to move on stage. Et puis, ben moi, je dis, je vais garder le tout, et puis ça, je vais dire comme tout yo, yo tout ka porté au au gab, qui belle, parce que le le garder wop kweyol, et puis ma ka ma ka parler court wop national kweyol, moi, je ne parle court wop kweyol, wop kweyol, là, il belle. Wop là, espoir pour wop diète là, jeep là. Avec la femme qui a porté, avec les qui a porté, comment il est pour porter. Et puis, il y a une façon aussi pour porter ses wops à yon. Ou pas ça, il y a porté ses wops à yon à n'importe manière ou ça. Non, pas ça, il y a porté une n'importe façon. Ou il y a pour marcher. C'est ça qui a coulé Matador? Oui. Marcher comme Matador? Au fil, il y a des gars qui dit marcher comme Atiye avec Chebe Tetou à l'air. Who will be vying for the 2022 Miss Wop Duet competition? All right, so we're getting back, of course, to our program here as we move along nicely. Chris, <laughs> I think I should leave you alone on that one, but I am, I am, I am triggered. So to trigger you. right about what, now, we are going over to the audience. What? Uh, the number of people we have. Much I think we're going to have some belly. About 90, presentation. I suspect they like no essay, so we're so going to have yeah, Belle. They shy away from the lights. We will attend with our food. Point Michel yes. cultural, cultural group. group. Crowd up, people, so we're are going you to there? Have Belle by the they Point there. Michel ah, cultural group. You also make better, huh? You, you, and I tell you, you the Fuedi. No, 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 Anything to warm up tonight, you know. I tell you, the Anything to warm up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our next act on stage, doing Belle. The Point Michel Cultural Group. Est-ce que vous savez assez bien là? Avec. Hey, moi ça fait un petit, un petit mouvement. Moi, moi qu'on a dit moi t'es qu'il est bien là. Bah qu'on saoudit là ou les dodo. Mais belle là c'est c'est yon c'est dans cela qui pille wish à Dominic. Avec c'est yon c'est c'est Dance national domine, so it's our national dance out of the many dances. It is um, one of the square dances, and um, we use only the drums. Now this, unlike unlike the other dances, it is different because the, the normally the dancers dance to the music that is already mm -hmm. there yes, and yes. created. But with the belly, the belly they dance to the drums, but the drums have to follow the dancer. The dancers, yes. right? in, in, so the, in the belly dance, the, the dancers are dancing and the drummer has to pay attention to what the dancer is doing because he has to beat according to 
what they what they are doing. This is one yes, of the dances, is, yeah. if not the only dance. I think uh -huh. it's the only one that really has its um, origin in African culture. Yes, and again, uh, deep rooted. It, yes, deeply rooted in the African culture. In fact, um, there are variations, and yes. most of the Caribbean countries have a variation or form of the bella. You find it often in. Um, in Caribbean co countries that will um, that have some French heritage, so Martinique, Guadeloupe, Saint Lucia, you would find well. Um, not not only French heritage, you know, because uh -huh. no, because some countries that did not have French influence, like Jamaica, okay, um, and some of these other countries because of the slave trade and because ah, of the yes, yes, the, yes, we came from That's, and because yeah, of the yeah, dances yeah. and the, because its the, origin the, the, is in the Africa. drum roots. Yes from our African ancestry, uh -huh. all of them have belly. In fact, there was a documentary done some time ago showing some of the the, the, the variations in the belly around, and the, Caribbean. around the Caribbean, which which was very nice. I mean, there are similarities and differences between them, and, and it's just left for us to, you know, pay attention to some of these things and to see how we are, as a people, moving mm -hmm. with where the as well as how, how we are connected eh? earlier yes. on julian you were talking about different variations of the belly and um just to name a few there's the belly piche there's the belly saute and there's the belly warm but you are you also have the belly ricky tea oh yes so uh -huh. so there, there, there are there are lots there are of, lot variations, of variations yes but when they dance the, the most important thing when they dance for right, a competition they one must do Let's two one, one slow and Doing one bad. The fast belly and normally we do the the belly um saute which is the fast one and the belly pitching more or less these are the ones we have remaining okay everyone they are coming on stage now and you will hear one main singer the lead singer who is called the chantwell yes and then you will hear the the love way the love way is the the choir the choir is often softer than the than the love way not necessarily you know it's no? because the 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 the, the, the well has the mic ah. because belly wasn't wasn't something for stage it was something you dance in in the yard when they came from work they danced on this um on the dirt surface so it wasn't something made for stage but um because of the 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 stage and how it is made up you <laughs> find that the the Shaq, well, he's given the mic so that she can carry that, or he can carry that rhythm. So we have the Point, Point Michelle Cultural Group. Let's go over to stage and take a bit of the belly.
ça t'es un bon danser. Ça t'es un bon danser. Moi, amusé comme moi et puis ça. Moi, moi aussi amusé comme moi. Et belle ça là. And we must tell the the listeners that belle, as we have said before, it there are two parts that you must do. Either the slow one, which is the belle piche most times, and then you have the belle sauté. So we just had a piece of belle by the Point Michel Cultural Group, one of our leading groups in Dominica, founded sometime in the 90s by the late Ferdinand Frampton and his wife Joan Frampton. And they have been participating in cultural events for a long while now, doing some belle for us. And this group was founded to, you know, primarily provide um, cultural performances for the tourists when they came and they formed themselves into a formidable group we have they have delved into even doing part of songs and winning sometimes in the part of song competitions and they have done a lot in terms of culture and the preservation of culture so this was the point michelle cultural group doing belly for us and we must tell you that this program is brought to you for the kind compliments of National Pest and Termite Control, Elvis Welding Services Limited, Do It Center, Garaway Enterprises, and, and Belfast Estate, Estate Distributors, Distributors of, of Kobuli. So we thank our kind sponsors. Without you, this program would not be possible. And we ask you to always patronize our Do It Center on 618-2357. Email store at doitcenterdominica.com. Come on down to Elvis Welding Services Limited. They are the best in the fabrication of burglar bars, railings, and gates. Elvis Welding Services Limited also provides services in aluminum MIG welding, industrial and piping welding, and forge work. Visit Elvis Welding Services Limited today at the new location in Trafalgar, next to the playing field, or call 275-4549. No job is too big or too small for Elvis Welding Services Limited to handle. Call today. Uh, look at what the penis do the board under my bed. You cannot put on the light in the kitchen in the night. Cockroach like tower. Well, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired about these termites. They have to go. I fed up. You're the poor Ali. I fed up. Have you heard of the National Pest and the Termite Control? They serve residential, commercial, industrial, and marine. Fortunately, in this day and age, pests can be eradicated safely and easily. Did you know that termites can cause more economic damage than any other national disaster? National Pest and the Termite Control offers free inspection. It's better to be safe and sorry. Check them out today at 28 Long Lane in the heart of the city, Roseau. Telephone 440-2352 or 277-0739. Call them today. No matter how much they cried and longed to go back to their motherland. See you Mama.
However, all was not lost. The Africans made the most of it and tried their best to carry over and continue their cultures and traditions. With the mixture of European culture brought about the beginnings of our Caribbean culture by our foods, traditional wear, dances such as ballet stemmed from. Music and dance, a favorite pastime of the Africans. They would sing and dance everywhere. And when I say everywhere, I mean everywhere. Finally, after almost 400 years of a life of hardship, adversities, and senseless deaths, on August 1st, 1844, they were liberated by law. The songs, drums, accordions, and steel pan could be heard throughout the streets. Ah, yes, the sound of celebration the song of Buga.
1978, we acknowledge the country's long-awaited freedom from the crown. Dominicans, raise your flags for our home island, the Nature Isle. Dominic. Give it up for Youth on a Mission Dance Group, seniors doing creative dance. We are moving on. We are just going to roll straight into it. The ladies and gentlemen doing also creative dance. Let's welcome on stage the Y2 Kubuli Dance Theatre Company. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was the Youth, and, um, Youth on a Mission Cultural Group, the seniors from Trafalgar. And now we will have the Whitey Kubuli Dance Theatre Company doing for us a creative dance. And of course, the White Equipment Dance Theatre Company is no stranger to the stage and we must make note of their, their uniforms, what they are wearing. They are wearing some black leotards with some um, African uh, prints around their waist um, and they have some, their, their heads are tied and they are doing stuff an African dance piece. And you, you know that, that the White Equipment Dance Theatre Company they, with their over 30 years in the business of doing dance spaces have been involved in really tremendous creation bringing to the fore all sorts of um, dance spaces from the African movements to the drums as they're doing presently to the um, movements to the local and music some of our Caribbean bits and further afield so let's go and take some of the the music and and the, the rhythms from the stage
you say, the white tea. DJ, give me that song again. Of course, the White ah, Kubli Dance you know, Theatre Company, one of the leading Kubli dance Kubli companies Kubli. in Dominica. Doing for us a creative dance. Yes, and uh, they were doing that to the beat of drums, so it's more like an African-based African dance. dance. Mm -hmm. So coming up next, we have one of the persons from this community, Makana Charles. Charles. This young man showing off some of the talents from that area. But while we are doing that, um, we see Melia and um chris doing some movements on stage <laughs> to the beats of drums and they're trying their their, their feet at it um yes. do you think that that, right. that that they stand a chance Milia seems to have picked thank up you, some moves from um the white kubuli dance thank group you. but chris right, poko la no but um very no, good maybe performance maybe there by the white kubuli dance with the company and just to oh, remind you as we're going moving smoothly before we're going to Mark and Charles, that our broadcast is brought to you for the kind compliments of National Pest and Termite Company, Elvis Welding Services Limited, Do It Center, Garaway Enterprises, and Belfast Estate, distributor of Kubuli Beer. Blessed greetings to everyone. Good night. Welcome to Trafalgar, Lily Valley, the land of my home. Yeah, Mabrika, Mabrika, Benvenido. Bienvenue à Dominica, the nature island of the Caribbean. <laughs> well, I guess he's just ensuring that he covers all, yes. all um. So cultures. I'm about to sing you a love song I wrote for Dominica. It's a love song from my heart. So if you're Dominican, then this one is for you. Hi, <laughs> DJ, drop it. Après bordé, c'est la terre. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the kingdom of White Kubuli and to the sovereign republic for which it stands. My love, my loyalty and skills in the service of White Kubuli and my fellow citizens. I promise to work diligently and to help build a prosperous and peaceful nation. Say we're living in a paradise, sweet Dominica. It's a beautiful nature island of the Caribbean The land with water in abundance Everywhere me go, me love the ambience Me love the people, me love the fans Put up on no hands Me love to see the birds in the canopy Me love to see the bees that bring the honey In this land is where I want to be Whitey Kubuli Me go to Barbados and me thinking of she Me really don't know what this land do me A nature island or Tipa Wadi Moshi we River Nika Whitey Kubuli River Nika Dominic, yeah man. And most of all, when you see me pray, me asking God to just bless the day and guide and protect all my people for me. The showers of blessings each and every day. And this is how we so lush and beautiful. See the rainfall keep the people cool. And this is how we so strong and so humble. Just like Yashua disciple. So come and take a dive in at the Emerald Pool. Rejuvenation like a baptism. Free up your mind and free up your soul. And let nature take control. Whitey Kubuli, River Nika. Hey, Rivanika, me need you. 
and me love you forever. Yeah, me know. Me love the vibes and the energy. Between you and I, white equally. No other one can compare to she. The nature island in the West Indies. Look up all the young and look up all the Creole. Dominica strong and we standing tall. We till in the soil and we must get reward. All for each and each for all. Whitey Kubuli, River Nika. Tall is a body, River Nika. Can't do without she, River Nika. It's just where I want to be, River Nika. Whitey Kubuli, River Nika. Tall is a body. Rivanika, can't do without she. Rivanika, just where I want to be. Ay ay ay, Messi, thank you very much. God bless you, yeah man. Give it up for my Colonel Charles, sweet Dominica. Is where we And of we course, want that was be. my Colonel Charles. From the area, as he did for us, some um, song River Nika. That is where I want to be, Makana Charles. And uh, as we continue, we move swiftly with the program because things are moving, things are heating up, things are spicing up here. And Kaichi, as we celebrate, it's the perfect Kaichi Usav. Say, uh, Heritage Day, Juni Heritage, uh, uh, Kaichi. So we're going to move into the six swarm Cicero singers as they will be doing for us two numbers. So the six swarm Cicero singers that, that will be doing some choral songs for us. But um, so far, so good. We have, we have been seeing a lot of um, talents, a lot of um, skills, a lot of... Um, and we must say that the people in the valley area, because we thought that maybe all the this, the performances would come from outside but there's a lot of talent a lot in this area so so we they have announced the Cicero Cicero singers they are coming to do for us some choral song but while they set up for them because I think they need to put up some mics and so for them then we'll have the Cicero singers coming to do two numbers for us all right, coming up in just a short while, we'll also have live on stage of a songbird, Mikhail Henderson. We'll have, of course, the chairman of the village council here in Trafalgar to thank you all, kind people, for being here tonight. to go. I give the clues, you give the answer. Contestant, are you ready? Yeah, man, yeah, man, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Castrol lubricants, 12-volt automotive batteries, tires, automotive parts and accessories, automotive chemicals, car care products. Garaway Enterprises. Correct. Gas and arc welding equipment and accessories, air compressors and hoses, electrical power tools and air tools, hand tools. Garaway Enterprises. Correct again. Garden and lawn equipment, brush cutters, chainsaws and accessories, generators and water pumps, fishing and diving supplies. Garaway Enterprises. Correct. You're on fire. Household paints, varnishes, and spray paints, artists, and craft supplies, rope, and various tackles, uh, safety uh, equipment for the roadworks and construction. Garaway Enterprises! Correct again! Hurricane supplies, raincoats, tarpaulins, flashlights, lamps, batteries, nails. Garaway Enterprises! Correct again! Garaway Enterprises, 17 Old Street, Auto Spare Parts Department, 15 Old Street. Check us out. <laughs> Kabooli! Yeah, yeah. 
the six form Cicero singers, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, the six form Cicero singers as they do on two for Dominica. And um, there's choral music where we cannot forget them because there have been songs that have been sung, they have been re engineered, but they have been sung for some more than 30, 40 years now going. And um, we're still making them sound and look beautiful French. when you hear them and see them being performed on stage. Because um, nous ne pouvons pas dire merci bon Dieu que nous n'y avons pas de place pour nous apporter une bonne musique comme ça, nous apporter une musique qui nous a mis pour nous n'y avons pas de place. C'est vrai, c'est vrai. C'est une bonne musique, hein? parce que ce n'est pas toute sorte de musique où ça a toujours ni. Il n'y a pas de sorte de musique, c'est un chanté et puis fini. Hein? Mais oui. c'est ça. C'est ça, il y a un chanté pour pour n'y avons pas de place. Oui, oui. And just, um, just to remind you of our sponsors tonight, National Pest and Termite Control, Elvis Welding Services Limited, Do It Center, Garway Enterprises, and Belfast Estate, Estate Distributor, Distributor of, of Kubuli Beer. Beer. For the sponsors, we must say thank, thank you, you for your kind sponsorship to have this program on the air today. And coming up next, we have Mikkel Henderson, Yes, Lady Princess of Song, our one of our songbirds from the cultural capital of Dominica, so Guam to Bay. To so let's go uh, across from stage to nice, get yes, a Mr. piece DJ, of Nickel and Mikkel Henderson. Mikkel Henderson. Song. From many distant lands, our forefathers came, some seeking adventure. Some bound in chains Through battles waged and fought Through victory and pain By test of their courage Our freedom was gained An homage to those gone before gone. us the heroes of lands in the sun We vow to join hands and to focus On building one Caribbean Raise your voices high And sing of your Caribbean pride Sing it loud and strong Feel our hearts beat as one Celebrate in song as we rise to heights where we belong. Sound of victory drum, for glory come. Though great and diverse be our ethnicity, all oh, the bonds that unite us. A stronger than these We dine, pray, we love We dance and we play We relate to each other The message on the way Today as a people united the Determined and steadfast we we look to a brand new horizon The future now firmly in our hands Raise your voices high And sing of your Caribbean pride Sing it loud and strong Feel our hearts beat as one Celebrate
for you sing carry come let the let If you want to, if you want to dance, try you just the other day. You can. You were trying to think of what to say. I guess it's an all for your lies. You're gonna bring about your own demise. And all that you ain't gone away. Maybe looking for another girl to play. And if that's the way it goes, one day you're gonna reap the seeds you sown. I said the beat goes on, yeah. My life goes on without you. And if you think that I was gonna sit around and cry, wait for you to come back. You know the beat goes on. My life goes on without you. And if you think that I was gonna sit around and cry, hey, Chafanga, how you feeling tonight? Let me know if you're feeling the music. Come on. Yes, sir. That's it. And I'm not trying to make a scene. I think you know exactly what I mean. Said I don't need you anymore. I guess I'm not the girl I was before. Now I'm dignified, yeah. I got a hold of my life. Don't even wanna think of you. One day you pay for the things you do. I said the beat goes on, sing with me. My life goes on without you. And did you think that I was gonna sit around the crowd wait for you to come back? You know the beat goes on. And did you think that I was gonna sit around and cry? Yeah, yeah. You thought you had me blind, try to pull the shades the right over my me. eyes. But I've been on to you for a while now. You thought you had me fooled, but in my life I make the rules. You thought that you could win, but now you lose. Come on. So now you're trying to play it cool. I see you find someone to be your fool But pretty soon she'll understand You don't know what it takes to be a man You think you gotta figure it out Baby, you're the one to go do without Baby, you ain't nothing new One day I'll change it, I'ma tell on you The beat goes on, baby My life goes And did you think that I Was gonna sit around and cry and wait for you to come back You know the beat goes on My life goes Thank you very much. If you let me, I'll do one more. Yes, all right. <laughs> this one is dedicated to the lovely Dominica, the magnificent nature isle. Happy birthday, Dominica. Born de Panas. C'est pour mon palais en teasing quail, Right? <laughs> Dominic Viva, yes. If you love Dominica, say yeah. Of course. We love her too. 
yeah. Sing with me if you know the words. And I of beauty, I love splendor. But with grace and natural treasure. On pay ye belly, she's got clear. Choose who can sauve tout, can fait ton nick fini. Please do. Kai Che, do you feel it? You feel it now? Yes, sir. We love it. It's my favorite time of year, independence. Yes, sir. Woo. We've seen hard times and trials of plenty. What we can I tell you is never forget the one who rewards all the struggle and sweat. Now hand in hand into the next millennium. All my people get the knowledge and wisdom. Each one teach one, then we can't be one. We have to rise under. I don't mean it. Viva Dominic, sing it with me. I don't mean it. Come on. Viva Dominic. One more time. Say I don't mean it. Oh, Viva Dominic. Viva. I don't mean it. Viva Dominic. So ladies and gentlemen, that was Dominica's Princess of Song, Mikkel Henderson, doing for us three, three renditions and um, very beautifully done. It's always a pleasure to hear Mikkel sing. She sings with so much power, so much strength, such sweet melodies. And next, as, um, as the events... And the performances, well, there is much more to come. But as we end this session, we will have a vote of thanks coming on by the chairman, Mr. Clifford Morancy. Listening now to Mr. Clifford Morancy, 
the chairperson of of the Trafalgar village as he gives a the pleasant good night to everyone. Dance. It has been a pleasure for a beautiful community of Trafalgar to host this year's Heritage Day. The opportunity to showcase our talents, products, and spectacular atmosphere has been nothing short of amazing. I would like to start by thanking the, His Excellency Charles Sovereign and his wife, Mrs. Sovereign, for their presence today. Thank you to Honorable Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt for joining us today in our festivities. We would also like to extend our appreciation and thanks to the other ministers, cultural division, local government, sponsors, and other governing bodies that were present here this evening and helped make this Heritage Day possible one way or the other. At this point, I would love to give a special thank you to our parliamentary representative for the Rose Valley, Dr. Irvin McIntyre. We are proud to call you our parliamentary representative, our leader someone who has put in the work so that this community could get this opportunity to shine. Thank you to our cultural elder, Justice of Peace, Mr. Henry George, for being with us today and his work in this community that has impacted even generations before me. Trafalgar is but one piece of this gem we call the Roseau Valley. Our success today has come from the support of communities such as Loda, Watson Waven, Mont Prosper, Shawford, Fokhani, Cochrane, and Coptal. We thank all these communities for their support, and may we continue to work together to keep this Rose Valley strong. To my beautiful, talented, resilient, and charismatic people of Trafalgar, you have made us all proud. You not only showed up today, but you showed out. Thank you for embracing our guests with open arms and showing them the Trafalgar that I have grown to love. I would like to take this opportunity to recognize the youth of this community. I will stand with you always. You have shown that the youth in this community are always willing to put their best foot forward. I am indeed proud of you and thank you for your efforts. Thank you to all our guests who have joined us today. It was a pleasure to have you with us and look forward to seeing you partake in future activities in this community. Last but certainly not least, I would like to thank the hard-working Heritage Committee, including the subcommittees. Believe me when I say this journey has been hard, but it was worth it. We have seen the fruits of our labor. I pray that everyone have a blessed night and do enjoy the entertainment that awaits you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the vote of thanks by Mr. Clifford Morancy, the chairman of Trafalgar Village Council. And shortly we will have uh, an interview with him. So just stay on so that you can hear what he has to say about today's proceedings. Again, we want to say a big thank you to the sponsors of tonight's broadcast, National Pest and Termite Control, Elvis Welding Service, Services Limited, Do It Center, Garraway Enterprises, and the Belfast Estate, distributor of Kubuli Beer. Chairman is making his way to us, so he's just going to, we're just going to have an interview with him as he tells us, gives us a synopsis of. And most definitely, um, Avena, we are here with Mr. Morancy, who is the chairman of the Trafalgar Village Council, and it, it, putting this program together 
has been no easy feat. So we're going to ask um, Mr. Morancy to give us a, a, a little synopsis of all what it took to get this together um, and what, what he had to go through and putting this com committee together to have this successful 2022 a Heritage Day celebration being held in the village of Trafalgar, Kaichi, Umayuadiya Creole. Hi, good evening. Um, as mentioned, my name is Clifford Morancy. I'm the chairman of the Trafalgar Shopford and Fokani Village Council. Um, I would say that it's indeed been a journey for all of us um, and indeed a team effort. I would like to stress the team effort. Um, it took not only myself as chairman but Mainly, I would say the Heritage Day Committee, the subcommittees, or parliamentary representative. As I said, Watson Wave and Load, that the whole Rose Valley, we really came together to try and make this possible so that the whole country and even diaspora and everyone to just come and enjoy everything. It was a hard work, but I will really say, looking out tonight, it was worth it. So, what, what, what would some of the, the, the high points you take from this what what other great experiences you take from having this um heritage day celebrations here i can with confidence say that it was the creation of our cultural group um before this we did not have a cultural group and this opened so much doors and so much opportunities where we just only took shortly two months to train and practice and get our dances together and as they can see, we did very well, and I'm extremely proud of them. So it's just a stepping stone where now it's allowed us to create something amazing, something we never had and move forward. So you're saying that there is continuity for culture in the Trafalgar area in, with the creation of your cultural group. So you're going to keep them together and keep culture alive in Trafalgar. Yes, that is, that is really a plan for this um, council moving forward. I will surely say that this has opened our eyes to this possibility and it is top priority to keep this going and make it bigger and better and be active in culture with our group throughout Dominica. All right. Um, in terms of, of getting young persons, because we saw many young persons involved in, in this, we saw the, the youth being a vital part of this um, celebrations here many presentations came from the youth how do you plan on maintaining that the youth involvement and in, in that as you're saying that now culture will be a high point of your committee but how do you plan to maintain the involvement of the youth within culture in Trafalgar and in the Rose of Valley by extension well, the goal for us right now, even with the, the um, council that we have in place, there are four young members within the council. Um, I myself I am only 29 years of age. Um, I'm a youth myself. So this allows me to create, get a connection with those youth. And I really have to say I'm really proud of them. I can say that a lot of the setup, the late hours and everything, the youth was really present. And now it's just to keep the ball rolling, create more opportunities for them to be active in. Not just in sports, which is the usual, but create all the avenues in culture, in other forms of entertainment like dance, even playing the little drums so they can get more involved because they are really eager to learn. And another thing that that person said, because some person said that they have been to Trafalgar, they have been to the area, but they never know, knew of um, Trafalgar having a, a huge playing field that could be used for activities do you plan to utilize it and market it more to have um, persons coming to you know spend more time in Trafalgar knowing that just not just for the waterfalls that they're coming but they're coming to enjoy some sports or some other recreational activities in Trafalgar well as for Trafalgar um, we have a Trafalgar football academy Right, so in the field of sports, we are already putting ourselves out there and growing. In the aspect of entertainment, um, if you know Fed Kaije, for years we have been the hub of entertainment, you know, during this season. And it's only, you know, because of COVID and this, this stuff that we've had setbacks. But I can assure you that next year we are really pushing entertainment back in Trafalgar 
where we can highlight what we are really known for. Um, we we known for our juves, you know. That that's our culture. That's in us. And I sure you will see that tonight when entertainers like Signal and Triple G come out and we flood here with Trafalgar people and show how we really entertain and party. Well, I see you all have a lot of entertainment for Heritage Day. You have some big and prominent bands coming up. Next up, we have the Midnight Groovers Band. We have Signal, as you said, and Triple K. Um, will this be a regular feature of having those bands and the re-emergence of the band, which, which, because I think there was a band some time ago in this area, where we see that re-emergence and resurgence of of this band and and getting involved in in entertainment yes well like you mentioned um we used to have this band lucas band lucas band um they kept they kept this community alive for many many years when it when we talk about entertainment and even when we look at triple k that came from loda right they stemmed from loda and they grew into this massive worldwide entertainment um band so what we plan to do right now is just keep it going um have these bands come in have them pull people into the community so not only just to entertain people but to give the small businesses in the community an opportunity to put themselves out there market themselves and to bring um, some finances back into the community so we ourselves can grow once the, the shops grow the small areas grow it will just spread opportunity all throughout Okay, thank you, Mr. Clifford Morancy, chairperson of the Trafalgar Village Council and one of the leading persons here for the Heritage Day 2022. And it was a pleasure speaking to you and it was a pleasure to have been in Trafalgar to experience Heritage Day. I don't know if um, Avena have any questions that she wanted to ask to Mr. Morancy. I think you covered it all, you know, Julian. <laughs> <laughs> but it you was a no pleasure. Stone unturned. It was a pleasure speaking to you. And we do hope that, uh, uh, is there any final words you would like to say, inviting persons to come up to the scenic and beautiful? Because one of the things we, we were expecting is to have the rains and so forth come down here and the wet conditions. But it was a very beautiful day, hot sun, great weather in Trafalgar. Well, and and the, the field is covered by a canopy of um, how we call it shade, so so there was not too much sun in the area. So so is, is there any parting? What, what would be your parting words to the listener in public in terms of coming to Trafalgar and visiting this scenic and beautiful community? Well, I will say the weather created a perfect opportunity for everyone to come out and support. We have something for everyone. We have midnight groovers for the older folks who want to come and slow down and enjoy their time and you know just feel the vibe. We have we have signal band. We have for the youth. We have triple K bands where everybody can come out. And of course we have our local DJ 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 Fire. So it's not too late. You're still right on time. Everyone can still come up to the Rose Valley and have a good time. Thank you very much, sir. Clifford Morancy, chairperson of the Trafalgar Village Council who was speaking to us in terms of what is going on, what it took here in the Trafalgar community to bring this um, Heritage session, Day. Heritage Day 2022, mm -hmm. happening on Sunday, October 23rd, right here in the scenic village of Trafalgar. Oh. Kai Che Kumayugadi. Avec cet heure plaisir pour nous te la. Avec nous, nous ni toujours gros act pour venir. Nous ni midnight groovers qui vont venir là pour y. Avec yoga yoga set up à ce stage là pour y présenter quoi y. Avec après ça nous te nous qui ni fait une marque y a beaucoup en jeune bouga bouillon. Avec après ça nous qui ni signal band. Avec nous te qui ni DJ Fire. Avec Triple K qui est fermé sur avec une présentation. Nous nous qui finissons bon on se croise aujourd'hui. Mais pour nous dire que uh, tout ça c'est pas bon compliment. Tout ces ces monde là qui a banou pour pour banou tant ça pour pour Ever so, Jodia. 
National Pest and Termite Control, Elvis Welding Services Limited, Do It Center, Garway Enterprises, and, and Belfast, Belfast Estate Distributor, Distributor of Kubuli Beer. Beer. So with that, we we await the presentation of the um we are with the present. So with that, we say we're, we're saying good night to you, but we still say that we have this big band coming up so you can come down. So we'll stop here for tonight with the live coverage and we thank our kind sponsors for your kind sponsorship to this evening. Avena, it was a pleasure co it was sharing a pleasure. with you. It was a pleasure to be there and I must say thank you to, to the listeners. You know, at the end of the day, even if we were on here but you were not listening, it would not be the same. So we are so grateful that you were able to pay attention and just to enjoy even if you were not able to, to make it to the actual event. Yes, and definitely it, it was a fit to be here yes. in this beautiful scenic communities. It's a place to be here June Heritage uh, uh, is here. Atrafalgar. Kaiche. 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 Uh, Wite. Uh, Wite. Mm -hmm. uh, Wite. So it was a pleasure and we we'll see you again some other time and we love you and we hope that you do continue, be safe and, and have an enjoyable an enjoyable rest of the night and an, an enjoyable Creole season. Remember there are season. so many more exactly, things. Exactly, because we have um, the season still continues yes. as we celebrate one Dominica, yes. one people, one vision. From us here, good night. Good night and be safe. Introducing Do It Center Delivery Monday to Friday With a minimum spend of $50 We do small deliveries From Jimmy to Point Michelle And up to Louisville Large deliveries are island wide Scheduled deliveries are free With a minimum spend of $200 For more info on scheduled and unscheduled deliveries Contact Do It Center on 618-2357 Email store at doitcenterdominica.com Come on down to Elvis Welding Services Limited. They are the best in the fabrication of burglar bars, railings, and gates. Elvis Welding Services.